Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and today we start solving quadratic equations. We're going to be using factoring, which is just what you've done before. So, let's start. How about 64x squared minus 16? Now, you factored this before. You would factor it by the difference of two squares. But now there's one additional step. We've turned this into an equation, and we're going to solve for x. All right, we're going to do this by factoring the left-hand side by the difference of squares. So I'll have 8x plus 4 and 8x minus 4. Actually, I can see now that I should have pulled out a GCF first. But no matter. Let's go ahead and do our next step. Each factor now gets set equal to 0. 8x plus 4 equals 0. And 8x minus 4 equals 0. Now solve each one of these little equations. I'll have 8x equals negative 4, x equals negative 4 over 8, which is negative 1 half. x equals negative 1 half. Over on the other side, we'll have 8x equals 4, because I added 4 to both sides. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 8. That will give me 4 over 8, which is 1 half. So, now I have my two solutions to this quadratic equation. x equals negative one-half, and x equals positive one-half. If you're answering in my math lab, you would list your answers in the answer box like this. Negative one-half, comma, positive one-half. Okay, let's do another. This was so much fun. Let's do a slightly different one. How about x squared minus x equals 6? Now, this is a quadratic equation. It's an equation in which the highest power is 2. Something very important here. When you solve a quadratic equation, especially by factoring, you need to make sure that the quadratic equation is set equal to 0. So for that reason, I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. That will give me a 0 over here on the right, and on the left I'll have x squared minus x minus 6. Now I'm going to factor. Factor, I'll have x and x, and now negative 6 will factor into negative 3 times positive 2, and negative 3 plus positive 2 equals negative 1, which is my B number right here. So, let's see. Negative 3, positive 2. And that equals 0. x minus 3 times x plus 2 gives me my original quadratic, well, almost original, gives me x squared minus x minus 6 above. Now, because it's an equation, I set each factor equal to 0. x minus 3 equals 0, and x plus 2 equals 0. Solve both of these equations now. I'll get x equals 3, and x equals negative 2, and those are the um, solutions to my <clears throat> quadratic equation. If you're answering in my math lab, you'll list the, the answers as negative 2 and positive 3. Okay. Well, what else? Let's see. Ah, suppose. Suppose you have, oh, how about a cubic equation? All right, 8x to the third 
minus 27 equals 0. I am going to factor this by the difference of two cubes. 8x to the third is 2x to the third power, and 27 is 3 to the third power. So I'm going to factor this by the difference of two cubes. 2x minus 3 times 2x squared, which is 4x squared, plus 6x plus 9, but we have to say equals 0. Now set each factor equal to 0. I'll have 2x minus 3 equals 0, and 4x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 0. Ah, but wait. This second part of the factorization of the difference of two cubes is prime. That is, for your area of knowledge right now, you're not able to factor this. So, wait till intermediate algebra for that. But over here, you can, you can solve 2x minus 3 equals 0 by adding 3 to both sides, so you have 2x equals 3, then divide both sides by 2, so you'll have x equals 3 over 2. And that is the solution, the real solution, to your equ uh, cubic equation. Let's solve one more. Let's do this one by grouping. How about 6x squared minus 23x minus 4 equals 0. I'm going to take 6x squared minus 23x minus 4 and I'm going to factor it by grouping. a is 6, b is negative 23, and c is negative 4. Now I'm going to multiply a times c, and that will give me 6 times negative 4, which is negative 24. Now I need to factor negative 24 into two factors that when you, such that when you multiply them, they equal negative 24, but when you add them, they equal the b number, negative 23. Well, what do you know? Negative 24 equals 1 times negative 24, and 1 plus negative 24 equals negative 23. That's what I want. So I'll come back over here. 6x squared minus 24x plus x minus 4 equals 0. Notice that the middle terms add up, negative 24x plus x adds up to negative 23x, so I have not numerically changed this equation. I've just changed the form. Now, true to grouping, I'm going to put parentheses around the first two terms and parentheses around the second two terms. Factor the first two terms by the greatest common factor and factor the second two terms by the greatest common factor. I'm going to pull out a 6x from the first two terms. That will leave me x minus 4. And the second two terms don't have a greatest common factor, so I'll put a 1 in front. And all this equals 0. Now, now that I know that x minus 4 and x minus 4 match. I know I'm probably right. So I'll write down x minus 4, and I'll write down empty parentheses behind it, and I'll write in what I have left. I've got 6x left, so I'll write it right here. And I've got plus 1 left, and I'll write that right here, 
and I know that that equals zero. This is the factorization of 6x squared minus 23x minus 4. Now I set each factor equal to zero. x minus 4 equals zero, and 6x plus 1 equals zero. Over here, if I add 4 to both sides, I'll get x equals 4, and that is one of the solutions to this quadratic equation. Over here, I'm subtracting 1 from both sides, so I'll have 6x equals negative 1, and then divide by 6, divide by 6, so that x equals negative 1 sixth, and those are the solutions to my equation. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.